What's up guys, this is Tabletop Vibes, and today we're taking a look at Quest of Snakes by Real Fake Games. <laughs> <laughs> Had to do it. Yeah. Anyways. This is great, that's great. And they, they say on the, on, in, the, in the instructions that this is the most snake-themed adventure game out there. Yeah. Yeah, it, it really is snake-themed. Snake yeah. Snakes everywhere. It's great. It's, it's a blast. <laughs> Essentially, you are snake in, what, snake Adia? Snake yeah. snake them. I could look it up. Uh, there's anyway. like a whole lore about it, but like <laughs> it's hilarious. You are par at party uh, in your town of Snake Adia. Snake, snake. I'm gonna, I'm gonna look it up. Yeah, he's, he's, gonna, he's gonna make, miss this up. Just jack it up. But yeah. we're gonna tell you. But you're you're getting your party of snakes together with all different fun, crazy names and different abilities and attributes, and getting them all together to go on a quest. In Snake Donia. Snake Donia was yes. so close. Oh, Scale Donia. Scale Donia. Scale Donia. Got Scale Donia. And so you got your uh, your little snake money. Yep. Um, you got your snake money to bid for snakes, who you're going to send on your snake venture to have uh, golden to get golden mice. Golden mice. Yes. It is awesome. Who knew that you ever wanted to gain victory points as golden mice? Right. Which you do, and then whoever has the most golden mice at the end of the quests that you do is. Is the winner. So, right. So this is a pretty fast-paced game. Yes. Uh, we'll go up to, I believe, um, six players. Yes. So you can play it with quite a bit. Yeah. And on this game, there's going to be two different phases. You are going to have the bidding phase. And you start with about 16 money. And that's all you have for the entire game to bid on your snakes. So yes. bid wisely. It's very sneaky. Yes. So you're going to do five rounds. You're going to be putting out pairs corresponding yeah. to the number of people in the game. And uh, you basically keep bidding up until everybody else passes except for one person. Whoever had the highest bid will pay all of their money that they bid for that for the choice. That's you're not bidding for a specific snake; you're bidding for the choice of snakes. Yeah, a pair of snakes. Everybody else bids half, uh, uh, pays half round down. Yeah. So when you get the winner, they look at all those pairs and say, "Ooh, these are the ones I want." They take them, and then in order of of winning bid, you go down the ranks and taking pairs of snakes taking pairs of snakes so as a pro tip you can pass and not pay anything and then get the drakes right but you're you're going to it's going to be the crappier snakes right right so yeah uh, uh powerful snakes is key in this game yes uh there are some utility cards uh some snakes have utility but the vast majority are just straight up power yeah, so snakes with power higher power the better for the most part in this game yeah some of the snakes have a little nice. cool like powers that they do my uh, one of my favorite was the pickpocket pit viper yes uh, and so he can steal a quest, I right. believe, um, from somebody that's worth one. Right. But all the snakes that don't have abilities all have flavor text. They're unique flavor text, <laughs> unique cards. It's a, a lot of fun in this. Like my favorite is Slippy, who uh, the unlikely hero of our story. He's holding a paper wand. And don't forget about what is it? Ta uh, ta uh, uh, oh, uh, Tony. Tony. To Tony. Useless. Freaking Tony. Tony. Nobody likes. Nobody Tony. likes Tony. Nobody. It literally says on the card. Yeah. It's awesome. <laughs> um, yeah. And so there's just so there's so many. Uh, snake cards that you can it's just flavor text wise right. they have just funny things they're funny names of snakes the art is really fun and cool um just right. a right. blast of like just snake so so, snake all time. so once you get the, the the cards in your hand you're going to have your player mat in front of you yes. with your own unique color and snake oh, yeah, who are um, you? yeah i i i mean this is not the game i just named him as snakey john snakey john and yours was uh the pirate snake roberts yes yes yeah so yeah, but we'll, we'll show you. We'll show you'll, you you'll, see. You'll, you'll see. You'll see why. Right. And so I think there was uh there was like uh, yeah, there's several snake golf. I mean, yep. yep. There's several like, other ones. There's one the old uh, old man. Yeah. Yeah. Your, uh, old snake. Uh, yeah. Snakey Potter. Yeah. Oh yeah, Snakey Potter. That's right. <laughs> we just started naming all of them. It was a blast. Um, we'll show you, but it's it's so much fun. So that's your player board, and that's yep. where your snakes go to uh, cool down, right? To recover. So yeah, on yeah. the card, you're actually going to have a little timer when you actually play your snakes and send them to the dungeon. They will have a recovery that comes back, right. and they take that many turns to recover. But we're getting ahead of ourselves. Yeah. Once you have your snakes in your hand, it is time Time to reveal the quests. <laughs> right. So you're going to have to send those quests, those snakes off to those quests to try to get those golden mice. Yeah. So depending on if you want to play a shorter game or a longer game, there are a certain amount of quests. And so then you reveal that quest. And sometimes it has uh, prerequisites like you need a wizard, you need a warrior, you need a rogue, rogue um, which they're all the, all the symbols are on the cards. Right. And you then send out send out send out your snakes <laughs> doing this all video so I'm really sorry um you're gonna send out your snakes to then go on the quest right and these quests they're fun in their own own, yeah. own right they have their own unique artwork uh they have their little play on words like you have snake stones uh you have snake uh, deusa uh, to uh totally terrifying he has no special abilities just a toad um treaty 
The snake plague. Yep, and then you have treasure crap, which is treasure negative trap. negative one. What's uh, treasure trap? Treasure trap. Treasure. <laughs> It looks like treasure trap. It does, but it's yeah, a T. Treasure trap. Probably treasure trap. Uh, but it's negative one gold. You don't want to win it, but somebody's got it. So. Right. Or yeah. like uh, the, when we played, I won by a point yep. with one golden mice. Yes. Mouse. Right. So uh, you're going to be putting out uh, pairs um, or, or triplets, I guess, of snakes corresponding to uh, the party size on the treasure card. On the, sorry, the... Uh, quest card. Quest card. Yep. And then you are going to be revealing these and you have the powers that... If they're applicable, we'll activate at specific points, and whoever has the highest power will win the quest. Of all combined strength of snakes. Snakes, yes. Yes. And so then you take the quest, and then you go to the next quest. Right. Oh, you put them on your recovery mat. Yeah. And then you put your snakes down on your recovery mat right. to cool down. Any snakes on the recovery mat will move down one, so as they fall off, right, you, you get them back in your hand. Yes. Yep. They come back to the party. Yeah. And then you do the next quest and the next quest and until someone has, until all the quests are done, whoever has the most points wins. Right. It's literally a pretty quick, fun, fast game. Like, right. it's not hard to learn. It's really quick. Also, there is a variant for uh, blind uh, drafting. Yes, so blind drafting. So, so you can kind of, you know, craft your craft with you with powers and abilities uh you know your kind of perfect hand yeah, trying to combo it trying and, to get a good mix of snakes right and uh there's also a role-playing variant yes. uh, in the game so this is a lot simpler um right. it uh basically you have a single snake and you lay it out for the quest and you tell the dealer yes. the story of your snake and whoever has the most uh epic story will win the quest right. yeah yeah and then so that's there's that aspect too which just is a blast and fun kind of like that apples to apples feel yeah um, um, gameplay. So, so yeah, yeah, it's yeah. such a good time. I mean, Quest Snakes is it's fun. And again, we're going to show you a ton of the art that's uh, that S they did. Snakes it's everywhere. Great. Yeah, it's just tons of snakes with fun, crazy art yep. um, and quip, quiplet, quip, little quips. Yes, yes, little little flavor like yeah. quips. Um, and and I and I would be amiss if I didn't add that this first reminded me of Snake Jazz. Snake Jazz. S that's good. S yeah, it's great. Or we yes, know. yes. The uh, purple cobra. Purple cobra. Yes. 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 So we love snakes. <laughs> That's what I was going to say. We're Tabletop Vibes. Like, subscribe, comment on uh, if you own a snake or if you've ever... Uh, Play with snake. Yeah, play, yeah I yes. don't do snakes. I, I don't do reptiles. I love snakes. I had a snake growing up called Mai Tai. It was a corn My snake. It's a good yep. name, though. Yeah, good name. So. Yeah, I don't. I did have one reptile, and it was a chameleon. And that was the extent of my reptileness. I don't do snakes. I have held one because my buddy threw it at me. Anyways. There you go. We're Tabletop Fives, and we'll check you next time. Psst. Psst.